Hi, my name is Sean Olson. This brief video picks up from the last video on using the map scalar modifier for unwrapping simple geometry. In this video we're going to discuss uh, the difference between tries and polygons and how triangulation can affect the way the modifier works. In this case you'll see the problem if we zoom into our geometry here and go back down to the base object turn on show and results so we can see the final after all of the stack is evaluated and we're going to move this uh, ridge to make a roof line here and we're just going to move it straight up and notice that as we're moving it up we have a problem so on this side we actually do have a pretty good unwrapping situation but over here we have a, a couple things one the the geometry isn't really what I wanted and the unwrapping is odd what we're going to discuss here is how the map scalar modifier is unwrapping at the triangle level and not at the polygon level so to understand what I'm talking about here notice that this area is flowing along this direction in this direction kind of appropriately but this area goes along here and then goes up and then over like this so notice this is one polygon and this is one polygon but they're split on the UVs down this triangulation line right here in fact this is not only the UVs that are getting split this way but also the geometry itself as you see on this side we don't have the um, we don't have the canyon going along here and so we have a ridge up this way this is the the effect that I want and it's correct on this side but incorrect on this side so to affect both the geometry and the UVs in this in this situation we go what we do is go to the polygon sub object mode and if we turn on edit triangulation you can see it's displaying the triangulation of this object and you see these lines here because I have show end results on but I'm going to turn that off to get rid of the UVs for a minute and this is how you see the triangulation this way there are these dotted lines. We'll turn on show and results again. And what we can do is hit turn and click on this line. And now this side will triangulate the way we want. So it's going to go along this way. So now I'm going to get out of turn mode. And now you can see as I move this vertex or this edge up and down, the UVs are doing something that's more appropriate for what I want. Again, my name is Sean Olson. You can learn more about me at my website, seanolson.net, and you can always get the latest 3ds Max tools from Wallworm at wallworm.com. Hope you found this video educational and Please look forward to new videos and remember to subscribe. Thank you and have a good day.